Well, back by popular demand, Don Gettling and Gino Franti with the National Real Estate Cafe. We get your daily dose of real estate market updates. Today's no different, and we're going to go over Don's favorite subject. Oh, uh, it used to be. Well, yeah, <laughs> we haven't talked about it in a while, but we're going to talk about jobs. Is that important? Do you think that's important to our economy? Well, let's start with the first slide showing where has unemployment been over the last 60 years. 60 years? That's a long time, Don. I thought this was a fun chart, though. You always like those Richter scale charts. Yeah, yeah. This, is, yeah, this isn't the <laughs> California earthquake. So basically, it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of where we've been since the Great Recession, obviously. Starting in 2009, you can see the sharp increase in unemployment when it's highest 10%, which many of you probably thought was probably one of the highest we've ever had. One of the highest, but not the highest, right? That's right. The highest was actually in 1982 at 10.8%. 10 10 yeah. Yeah, so that was absolutely horrible, of course. Uh, but that also tells you that not every recession is built the same. They're not all built on jobs because a lot of people would argue that that recession was nowhere near as bad as the one we just went through, Don. Good point. And then you have fun numbers like all the way back in 53, we got down to 2.5%. How about that? Well, I wasn't around to tell you whether that was uh, a screaming labor market or not. Either was I smart, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you can see we've improved quite a bit down to 5%, but we're going to talk more on this. So let's go to this next slide. What about these jobs, Gino? We were on well, a track for a lot higher numbers. Yeah, this is the lowest number we've seen in a while. Remember when we had the line earlier when we were looking at the jobs numbers and we were always looking to see how many initial layoffs we had every week was what we were focused on? Then we moved our focus to how many jobs are being created. Right. And this is the first time we've had a significant number under 200,000. Well, on top of that, the previous numbers were revised down as well. So not as many jobs being created. So we'll talk more, and there's some reasons for that. We're going to talk about that in some futures. Maybe the beginning of a trend, so we'll yeah. keep our eye on that. All right, so next slide here. Where are the jobs being created? Well, obviously, uh, business services and healthcare are leading the way. Wow, look at healthcare. Unbelievable. It's, you know, I, no surprise, demographically charged. Boomers are getting sick. They need more healthcare. So that's why that's happening. All right, so we're going to, this next part is where we talked about the current unemployment rate being at 5% and totally un total unemployed 7.9 million, which is 831,000 less than last year at this time. All right, so we have to talk to you about this because this 5% number isn't really legit. No, because the reality is a lot of people are underemployed. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's the new normal. Maybe it's not underemployed. Maybe that just is what it is, and that's why GDP is anemic. There you go. What Gino's saying is that incomes haven't been increasing as much, a lot of part-time jobs, and this 5% has a lot to do with a lot of baby boomers getting out of um, the workforce. So that has actually lowered the unemployment rate as well, not as much as increasing jobs. A lot of it's just a lot of baby boomers leaving the market. Just getting out. But that's okay. You don't have to get out. You don't have to get out of the workforce. There are jobs available. I know in certain industries it's absolutely booming and you can't get enough people. I am hearing down the street in construction right now, you've got to wait for everything. You've got to wait for windows, you've got to wait for doors, you've got to wait for labor. That's so because the housing good. market's been strong. There's a lot of pent-up demand. A lot of you are feeling more confident, so the housing market's been great, and we've been talking a lot about that. All right, this last slide, participation rate, it's only 62.8%. And that's what you were talking about, Don, right. I swear. That is absolutely the lowest number we've seen in a while. It's a very important number, but it's, uh, remember, it also doesn't measure self-employed, and I think right now we have a little heavier segment of self-employed. That's true. So average earnings, 25.53 per hour, which is down a little bit month over month, but up 2.2% year over year. That's so a pretty solid number, and then there was some legislation passed this week that's going to affect this uh, significantly with overtime. Yeah, I love this 34.5 hours. Is this just for the first two days of the week for <laughs> us? <laughs> uh, I'd like to have 34.5 yeah. uh, hours a week. My goodness, that's, that's by Tuesday. <laughs> so speaking of days, check us out every day on the National Real Estate Cafe by texting NREC to the number 58885. You'll get it delivered right to your phone, or check us out at NREC Cafe. Cafe.com.